welcome. I welcome you all to this course, Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. And we are studying the Ach Sandhi or the Vowel Sandhi. We said that the Vowel Sandhi can be classified under two heads, Ekasthanika Ekadesha and Dvisthanika Ekadesha. First, we started studying the first type, namely Ekasthanika Ekadesha. We said that there are two instances of this type of Sandhi. The first one is Yan Sandhi and the second one is a yava yava sandhi and then the second type which is dvisthanika dvis ekadesha has got five instances guna sandhi vriddhi sandhi pararupa sandhi savarna dirgha sandhi and purvarupa sandhi this second broad classification and the five instances we shall study later on. Right now we are focusing on Ekasthanika Ekadesha. And we selected the first instance namely the Yan Sandhi. The diagrammatic representation of Ekasthanika Ekadesha is of this kind. The At Sandhi stated in the sutras from 6172 up to 6183 describes this type of sandhi ekasthanika ekadesha if you have a followed by b immediately which means that a and b are in close proximity which means that a and b are in the samhita mode a gets substituted by c ekasthani ek Adesha. A is the sthani, C is the adesha. A is the substituent, C is the substitute. B is the right hand side environment. Remember, although in this diagram only the substitute substituent relation is shown, the output of this would be C plus B. B remains unchanged, untouched. Only C is the changed element. So this is the input A plus B and the output is C plus B. C which is one substitute, it comes in place of one substituent. And the example that we are looking at is Yan Sandhi. So far we studied the Sutra Iko Yanachi 6177 which explains Yan Sandhi. Then we looked at the expanded meaning of this sutra when we also introduced the Uddeshya Vidhaya Bhava and we also introduced the sutra Anudit Savarnasya Chapratyayaha previously. Then we started looking at individual examples of Yan Sandhi. We have already looked at examples where E and U are substituted by Y and V respectively. Iko Yanachi consists of Ik as the substituent and Yan as the substitute. And we have seen E and U being the substituents and Y and V being the substitutes in the environment of Ach, that is vowels. What remains are two more vowels, R and L, which are the substituents and R and L are the substitutes. In this lecture, we shall study examples, individual examples, where Yan is substituted in place of R. Rukarasthanika Yanadeshe. Rukarasthanika Yanadesha, Yan substitute coming in place of Ru. 
ru being the substitute and yan being the substitute. So the input in this case would be ru, vowel ru with 12 varieties rasva and dirgha plus ach. 132 vowels in all minus 54 plutha vowels 78 minus 12 rasva and dirgha rukaras. So we have 66 vowels as the right hand side environment. So we have the output in the form of r plus ach. And so we have the right hand environment total vowels 132 minus 54 that is 54 plutha vowels minus 12 rasva and dirgha rukaras. So we have 66 vowels as the right hand side environment. Now let us look at the individual examples. The first one is ru followed by a as the input and 6177 applies and ru is substituted by r. And we have already seen in the initial meaning where the principle of correspondence designated r as the substitute in place of ru, after we apply the uddeshya vidhaya bhava, the place of articulation serves as the criterion to select r as the substitute in place of ru. Now here are the examples. So we have dhatru plus anga. Now these two words are put in square brackets indicating that this is a compound with the assumption that the vowel dhru cannot occur at the end of a pada generally and therefore it has to be part of a compound where it occurs at the end of a pada. So dhatru plus anga, dhatru is brahmadeva, anga is the limb, this is a compound. Now in this case ru is immediately followed by a. Of course, this is a compound samasa. So, samhita is nitya, mandatory. And so, you have to do the samhita. This is the samhita mode. And therefore, the 6177 eco yanachi applies and ru is substituted by r. So, we have dhatra r plus ang as the output. We join it together and we get the word dhatranga as the compound. Now we said that this a uh, which acts as the right hand side environment also stands for its own homogeneous sounds. So we have another example dhatru plus abha the luster, luster of Brahmadeva. So here also once again we have the similar situation because this is a compound, samhita is mandatory. When these two words are uttered in the samhita mode, eco yanachi applies and substitutes this ru vowel by r. And so we have dhatra plus abha as the output. And so we get dhatra abha as the finally derived form. Just as r is the substituent because of the introduction of the uddeshya vidhaya bhava and anudit sabarnasya chapratyaha we also stated that ru can stand for its own homogeneous sounds and so we have examples where kru where ru long is also the substituent generally we won't find ru long coming at the end of the pada once again here and in the previous illustration, ru at the end of a pada meaning ru at the end of a tinganta or subanta pada. 
and therefore we have examples once again of compounds where subantas are the input but without the sub suffixes i mean the sub suffixes are deleted and then we get kr plus anta so anta is the end some element at the end of which comes kr so here we have long ru followed by a in the samhita mode which then becomes an output in the form of kr plus ant and so we get the sandhi and we get the form krant similarly kr plus a so suppose you want to describe the word kr this is a verbal root stated in the dhatu patha and suppose you have to describe it and you have to use the instrumental singular of kr what would you do you would add the suffix a to it and then obviously the sandhi eco yanchi will take place and you will have kr plus a kra as the form as is shown on the right hand side then we have the next set of examples where you have ru as the substituent and e as the right hand side environment and in this environment ru gets substituted by r and here are the examples once again all of them they are that of r of the of the compound so dhatru plus ishth and you have the samasa therefore samhita mandatory and you have ru coming in close contact with e so ru gets substituted by r and so you have dhatra plus ishta and so you get the form dhatrishta something desired by the brahmadev then we have long e in the form of isha at the initial position and so we have dhatru plus isha the master of brahmadeva and once again in the samhita mode 6177 applies and dhatru plus isha being the input the output is dhatra plus isha and so you get dhatri isha as the finally derived form then we have long ru as the sthani or the substituent and so we have kru followed by iti iti is the quotative marker kru plus iti and once again 6177 applies and we get kr iti and kriti similarly kr and isha and once again 6177 applies and you get kr and isha and krisha the master of kr the the verbal root then we have examples of ru plus u where ru is the sthani or the substituent and u being the right hand side environment and then 6177 applies and ru is substituted by r dhatru plus ut ut being the kridanta form of the verbal root ve to weave something that is woven so dhatru plus uta something that is woven by the brahmadev this is once again a compound and so samhita is mandatory and so we have ru followed by u in the samhita mode and ru is substituted by r so we have dhatru plus uta as input 6177 applies eco yanachi applies and so you get the output in the form of dhatra plus ut so you get dhatrut now u also stands for its own homogeneous sounds so we have a long vowel u acting as the environment so we have dhatru plus urja and we have once again a compound and so there is samhita which is obligatory so you have ru followed by u in the samhita mode 
So, 6177 eco energy applies and then the output is dhatra plus urja. So, you get dhatrurja. Then you have long ru also as the substitutive end sthani and so you have kru plus uchara and ru and u are in samhita mode this is a compound and so you have 6177 eco energy applying and the output generated is kr plus uchara kruchara then kru plus ut and once again you have krut that is the output ru followed by u and in the samhita mode and so ru is substituted by r and so kr plus ut being the output krut. How about ru plus lu? We must note that 6177 is not applicable here. A vartika statement, rulu varnayor mithas savarnyam vachyam states that the vowels ru and lu are to be considered homogeneous with each other. And so this will become the scope of 61101 and the output would be when this is the situation where ru is closely followed by lu in the samhita mode the output would be the savarna dirgha and this savarna dirgha would be the long ru so we go to ru plus a now once again we have the case ending here dhatru plus a this is the chaturthi ekavachana and you have dhatru plus a in the samhita mode so 6 177 eco energy applying and ru is substituted by r and so you have dhatra plus a and the resultant form is dhatre for the Brahmadeva. Similarly, Kru and its native singular form would be Kru plus A and Ru and A both of them are in the Samhita mode. So, Ru gets substituted by R and so we get the form Kru plus A Kre. And then we have Ru plus O being the input in the Samhita mode and 6177 eco energy applies and ru is substituted by r and so we have r plus o as the output. So you have dhatru plus ojas, the strength of Brahma Deva and ru and o they are in close proximity in the Samhita mode because this is a compound and Samhita is obligatory in the compound. And so you have dhatru, dhatru plus ojas as the input and the output is dhatra plus ojas. So dhatrojas, this is your, this is your finally derived form, dhatrojas. Then you have the genitive dual, shashti dvivachana of kru, long ru. And once again you have ru and O in close proximity in the Samhita mode. So 6177 eco energy applies and we have the output kr plus os cross. Then next we have ru plus i as the input in the Samhita mode 6177 applying and ru is substituted by r. So the output is r plus i. So you have dhatru plus aikyam, once again a compound, unity with Brahmadeva. In this case, because of the samasa, the compound, samhita is nitya, obligatory. And so we have 
the Samhita mode and so rho plus i is the input 6177 applies and the output is dhatra plus aikyam dhatra aikyam. Similarly we have kru plus aikyam and so we have once again the compound and samhita mode and so therefore we have 6177 applying and kru plus aikya is the input and the output is kru plus aikya kraikya. Then we have ru followed by au as the input and 6177 eco energy applies and ru plus au is the output. Once again we have the compound samasa dhatru plus au shadha and because this is a samasa samhita is nitya obligatory and so ru and au they are in close proximity in the samhita mode and so ru gets substituted by r and so we have dhatra ushadha as the resultant form. Then we have kru long ru plus aupamya a compound and ru and au are in close proximity samhita mode so ru gets substituted by r and so we have kr plus aupamya kraupamya. These are the examples where vowel ru comes into close proximity in the samhita mode with ach and then ru gets substituted by r. Now we move to the last vowel which is part of ik and we say that this is now lukarasthanika yan adesha this is what we shall study now lukarasthanika yan adesha so lukara is the sthani or the substituent yan is the adesha the substitute the input is lu only six short varieties plus ach which is 132 minus 54 plus the, that is 78 minus 6 varieties of lu and that is 72 varieties. The right hand side environment consists of total vowels 132 minus 54 plus the, minus 6 rasva lukaras. So you have 72 vowels as the right hand side environment. And in this case, when you have this environment, the output is l, the consonant l, followed by the 72 vowels. Let us now study each case in detail with the examples. So here we have loop plus a as the input, 6177 applying and l plus a is the output. We do not have words ending in lu, padas ending in lu. Therefore, we have some artificial examples. So, in the Paniniya Dhatupatha, the verbal root gama meaning to go is stated with the anubandha lu, gam lu. We take that as the element that is to be referred to. So, gamlu is a verbal root, but then when we are referring to it, we do the anukarana of it, imitate it and this imitation now refers to the word as the meaning and therefore now this anukarana gamlu becomes the pratipadika and then it is eligible that sup can be added after it and so it becomes an input for a samasa, a compound and then once it is compounded with several other words, we generate examples. The first example shown on this slide is gamlu plus anga. Anga is a technical term in the Ashtadhyayi and when we have a compound gamlu plus anga and because this is a 
compound or a samasa. So samhita is nitya, obligatory, mandatory. And so lu and a, they are in the samhita mode in close proximity. So lu gets substituted by l. And so gamla plus anga is the input. 6.77 eco energy applies and gamla plus anga is the output. And so we get gamlanga as the output. Similarly, you have gamlu plus adesha. Gamlu plus adesha. And here, once again, some, something similar happens. And you have lu and a coming in close proximity in the samhita mode. And lu gets substituted by l. And so you have gamla plus adesha. And so Gamla Desha. This is the resultant form, Gamla Desha. Then you have Lu plus E as the input. Eco energy 6177 applies, and the output is L plus E. So you have Gamlu plus Iti, where Lu and E are in the Samhita mode. Eco energy applies. And the output generated is gamla plus iti gamliti. Similarly, you have gamlu plus isha, the master of gamlu. And so you have eco energy applying, and lu is substituted by l. So you have gamla plus isha and gamlisha as the resultant output. Then we have lu followed by u as the input. Eco energy 6177 applies and l plus u is the output. So we have gamlu plus uchara, once again a compound, a samasa. So samhita is nitya. So lu plus u, they are in the samhita mode. So 6177 eco energy applies and the output is gamla plus uchara, gamluchara. Similarly, gamlu plus urja, and so you have 6177 applying because the conditions are fulfilled, and so the output generated is gamla plus urja, gamlu urja. How about lu plus ru? 6177 is not applicable here. A vartika, namely, Rulu Varanayor Mithas Savaranyam Vacham states that the vowels Ru and Lu are to be considered homogeneous with each other. So this becomes the scope of a 61101 Akas Dirghaha and so the output would be the Savarana Dirgha namely long Ru. Remember Lu does not have a long variety. Now this example will be studied when we study the Savarnadirgha Sandhi later on. Right now, we can then move ahead and see the example where Lu plus A is the input in the Samhita mode and then 6177 Eco energy applies and the output is L plus A. So we have Gamlu plus A and Gamlu is once again the anukarana of the verbal root gamlu. So it becomes a pratipadika and now we are generating the dative singular chaturthi ekavachana of gamlu. And so we have gamlu plus a 6177 applies and the output is gamla plus a and so we get gamle. Then we have lu plus o as the input. Eco energy 6177 applies and the output is L plus O. So now we are deriving the sixth case dual 6 slash 2 or the Shashti Dvivachana. So Gamlu plus Os because of the Anukarana Gamlu becomes a Pratipadika and so it gets Os after it and so because this is ekapada and we have some hita obligatory inside one pada. So now lu 
is followed by O, they are in Samhita mode. So, Lu will be substituted by L and we get the output Gamla plus Os after having eco energy applied. So, Gamlos that is the resultant form. Then we have Lu followed by I and 6177 applies and the output is L followed by I. So, we have Gamlu plus I here the compound where Lu and I are in the Samhita mode. So, 6177 Eco energy applies and the output is Gamla plus Aikya, Gam Laikya. And finally, Lu plus Au is the input, 6177 applies and the output is Le plus Au. Gam Lu plus Au Pamya, a compound and therefore Samhita is mandatory, Nitya and so 6177 applies and now the output is gamla plus aupamya, gamlaupamya. In this way, we studied examples in this lecture where vowels ru and lu are the substituents in the right hand side environment of any vowel and r and l are the substitutes respectively. In this way, we have studied examples, individual examples where e, u, ru and lu, these are the substituents in the environment of the respective vowels. Now we study some more aspects, also features related to at sandhi or vowel sandhi. And those features are stated on this slide. The question is, can the substitute as is stated on so many slides, can the substitute be considered same as the substituent? Is there a sthanivad bhava possible? If yes, how? What would be the statement? And most importantly, by application of which sutra? Similarly, we would study how yan sandhi becomes an input to the swara sutra, accent sutras. And are there any gaps in the description of yan sandhi in the ashtadhyayi of panini which are filled in, which are removed by the later commentators. It is these aspects that we shall study in the next lecture. Thank you for your attention.